and Meg Ruffman. Welcome to Men on Women, the show for women who don't understand men. And there are quite a few of us out here. So to help us out, we're going straight to the source, men. Now, just what is it that indicates a woman is interested in a guy? What are the subtle things she does or says that let a guy know she digs him, baby? Do you guys know? You see, it's a good thing you're here, because you don't. Well, then later we'll have a few juicy questions for guys, which maybe you wouldn't dare ask. But tonight, I'm just going to go ahead anyway. And then the guys will answer as honestly as possible, unless their girlfriends are here. <laughs> Tonight's real guy guests are Paul Schmidt and Jonathan McCready. <laughs> Jonathan has been living with his girlfriend, Nadine, for six months now. Paul has been dating someone new, so he's sleep-deprived, but darn happy. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, That's right. How are you? You're looking good for a guy who isn't getting a lot of sleep, so. Oh, thank you. I have, you're welcome. Oh. Okay, so here's the trick. You're dating a, a new girl. You really are. Yes, I but am. But put yourself in this position. It's not okay. been that long. Um, how did you know at, that she liked you? W what were the things that that you as guys picked up on, you know, what, what are the ways a girl can communicate that she, she likes you? Awkward, um, smile-filled pauses are always cool. Oh, yeah. When you're sort of there and it's quiet and you don't have anything to say, but you're sort of looking in each other's eyes and you sort of do the little awkward smile thing. Yeah? How long does that last? Uh, usually about 10 minutes tops. Whoa! <laughs> and then you're set. Okay, and then it pretty much maxes out. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have a lot of talking to do with this girl. It's oh, just we, sort of a chemical thing. It's exactly it. It's just a lot of conversations with the eyes. Right? Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, how about you? Well, aside from, you know, having her laugh at all my jokes, she also seems to be interested in a lot of the things that I do. Well, that's, that's always at the beginning. And yeah. then, you know, six months later, it's, oh, I don't like to uh, water ski. Where did you ever get that idea? <laughs> no, come well, on. I thought you did. Okay, but when you were first dating, what were, like, little things? Like... Um, well, you know, listens to what you have to say and, yeah. and hangs on your every word and is really interested in <laughs> okay. what you want to talk about. Okay. Okay, I'm going to find out some more about that from you because okay. I think you're hiding something. Okay. <laughs> but you, you've been on the hot seat long enough, okay? So I'm going to bring in a reinforcement. You know who that is? Formerly the star of CBC's The Newsroom and now starring in CBC's Made in Canada and the only man in Canada who has done guest appearances on Seinfeld, Murphy Brown, Cheers, and The Red Green Show, and still makes his own beer. Please welcome Peter Callahan. Have a seat. Now, could I just say something? He has no pants on, and to be fair, we weren't told that was allowed. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, can we start over? Because, okay, move over. I'm, I'm, oh, sn I'm snuggling right in here. <laughs> See, that shows she's interested. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, Pete. Okay, so, so let's say, oh, let's say um, a girl is sitting beside you. Now, remember back to before you got married, okay? Yes. You were dating. Long time ago. All right. Okay, so what were the things that, you know, that Jackie did, that, for example, that let you know, you know? Like, weren't there some subtle little things, little... Well, things? just on first meeting, you know, the hair thing is an awfully big thing. It is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a big you thing. Know, like, yeah, look what you just did. Huh? <laughs> that's good. Like, you were go, oh, okay. Well, to, you know, you is there anything that a girl can do that actually is too much that's kind of embarrassing? And should I try that now? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, yeah. you know, you think about that, okay? I'll think about okay. that. Okay, <laughs> you think about that, because I, I don't think you embarrass easily. The immediate hand on the leg. That's too much? That's a little yeah. But why is that too much? <laughs> well, you know, because... Whew, yeah, it's know. just, you know, too much. You know, guys are sensitive. Okay, no, well, I... our first date, she, I, I asked Jackie if she wanted yeah. to see a movie. Now, this goes back a bit, so we're okay. talking Jazz Singer just came out. Okay, fine, Pete. <laughs> no, sorry, not Jazz Singer. What was the other? What was Which the, one? Uh, uh, oh. Which one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 47 years ago. Okay. Uh, um... With the thing with Bob, Fo the story all of Bob, Fo all that jazz. She's, 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 okay, thanks, Jackie. All that jazz just okay. came out, and okay. I asked her if she wanted to go see it, and she yeah. said, "Well, I have seen it, oh. but I'll see it again." Yeah. So there you go. She would see it again. Yeah. Okay. See, that's telling, isn't it? It is. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna change the subject. You know why? Because we're gonna go even farther back in history than that, Pete. Do you know when the telephone was invented? 
1870-something. <gasps> You're good! 1876. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know why I know that? Because it's been 123 years of agony for women. Because at the end of the date, a guy will say, okay, I'll call you. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. And you know what that means, right? It's hell, because you wait. And nothing you happens sometimes. Call. Did you know sometimes that the phone doesn't ring? Well, if... <laughs> What are you gonna do? It's a complicated you know? device, and I, you know, it's... not all guys are technical wizards and stuff. So. <laughs> okay, so that's one excuse. But, but there's that's... supposed to be, you know, you, you can't like pick up the phone like an hour after you get home and go, hey, I had a really good time. Here's... Because then, know. you know, because then the girls get all panicky, and then there's that if you wait too long, they lose interest. Okay, well, know. let's just refine it right now. Okay, let's get a number on this. When is it gone too long? For the, when has it gone long enough that the girl should know by now it isn't happening? What's the maximum time a girl should allow? I'd say three years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you like to take your time. You're a cautious kind of a I'll guy. I'll take my time. Sure. Okay, okay. But thank you for that opinion. And it was right there, Pete. <laughs> you didn't hold back. Okay. I'd say three days or so. Three if days. I mean, if you've been out once or twice. Yeah. You know, so after three days, you say, I'll call you. Don't. It's over. It's not happening. Yeah. Okay. See, here's the deal with the television or the telephone, the telephone device. Yeah. It's both a sender and a receiver. So if you Ooh. haven't received the call, then you can also send the call. You know no, what I mean? you're like way deeper than me. See, I'm so, you know, I, maybe I'm from a different generation. You haven't slept enough at all. No, I'm okay, groggy. I'm I think so that's, tired. Okay, that's we like, to be, called, we like exactly. to be called, though. We like to be called. Exactly. Have you ever had it happen when uh, a girl says she'll call you and then doesn't? Has that, does that ever happen? Yes. Oh, does sure. that happen? Yeah. See, I thought it was all one way. Nope. Okay. No, no, no. Ouch. It hurts. It smarts. Yeah. No. I hate that. Gotta keep going. You do? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I gotta tell you something. We're gonna watch some commercials now. The three of us. Four of us, actually. We really are. And uh, after that, though, we have a caller on hold on the phone. She has a question for you guys. Are you ready for this? Sure. They're pumped. Okay, so we'll be right back. On women. Uh, we have Annette who has been waiting and waiting to ask a question and our helpful panel of guys is going to, well you're, I said before you were pumped and you're still feeling that way, am I right? Oh, oh, yes. oh baby. Indeed. Okay, so fire away Annette. Okay, hi Meg. Hi. All right, I was reading the newspaper the other night with a friend of mine who happened to be a guy and there was an article there on Pamela Anderson and I asked him, do you really find her attractive? And his response was, yeah, she's someone I'd love to fool around with, but definitely not settle down with. <laughs> so my question to the guys is, why do guys make a distinction between a woman they would like to marry and a woman they want to fool around with? Okay, well, is that true? Do, do guys make that distinction? I think the best case scenario is to find a cross like a hybrid, a girl who you can, you know, love and cherish and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then as well, you can get kinky and body with. Body. If you can find that combination, then like it's... Like Mary Tyler Moore with implants. Exactly. <laughs> That's... Well, exactly. So, Pete, you've got your ideal woman right there, eh? I think so. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I do not think that Pamela Anderson is attractive. I, I, I just think that looks freakish. It yeah, does not look human Okay, before me. after. Yeah. Okay, we have a second. Can I be honest right now? Okay. The, you have the, the girl that you want to spend your life with, but yeah. there's that other little impulse that you just want a night in a hotel room with a lot of there alcohol. There is that impulse, yeah. isn't there? <laughs> but you just don't want... And you don't even care if they're implants or not at that point. When you're having that feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Well, you know, I think that's sort of... Uh, I think at one stage in my life I found that sort of something that would be attractive, but I honestly don't think that it would be something that I would really care for at the moment. I think I would rather, uh, you know, be alone than have to... Be, because no matter what, when you... If, okay, if, wait, wait, wait. What, what guy, oh, no, okay, no, I don't wait. mean be alone like that. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You'd rather be alone than with Pamela Lee Anderson yeah, it just comes yeah, to that. Yeah. I think you were lying so much no, right now. No, no. <laughs> Oh, and I'll tell you why. Because, okay, why? Because if you, if you were to be, you know, to get involved with somebody like that, there's, yeah. like, it never just ends, you know? It, 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 there's always some residual 
stuff that will happen afterwards. Like, okay, you uh, got 10 years on me, and I don't think we're talking about like getting involved with you know meeting okay. your parents and we're all that other stuff. We're talking about a quickie here. Yeah, exactly. One. Okay. Just the one. Or, or a couple, depending on your stamina <laughs> <laughs> and the amount of alcohol and whatnot that okay. you have handy. But and no, I th uh, maybe again, you guys have some time on me. But at this stage of my life, I'm you know 25, and yeah. you know girlfriend. You know, she's fantastic and all that other stuff, but one tawdry night with Pamela Lee would just... Well, you could brag about some, it forever. Something and for that's the autobiography, you know what I'm talking exactly. about? <laughs> Chapter exactly. Chapter 6, exactly. Yeah. Okay, are we answering your question, Annette, or...? Uh, yeah, that was great. That pretty much wraps <laughs> it up. There's a lot of reams there one in those responses. One guy explained it to me this way, I thought it was kind of interesting. He said, I said, I, I don't get breast implants. And he said, well... Think of it this way: If a woman you goes to that, with them, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> if if a woman goes to that kind of trouble yeah. to appeal to you, that in itself says something. Yeah. Well, that's deep. And I, well, it's <laughs> the wrong kind of thinking for me. I okay, to, okay. Yeah. Anyway. You know, um, Annette, I want to thank you. That was a, a really good question, and thanks for being part of Men on Women. <laughs>on a first date I think it's a judgment call that kind of um, if the date goes really well and and you know you can feel that that sexual tension there I think yeah I think there's nothing wrong with that um, but if if you know there's a little tentativeness or if you had too much garlic maybe handshake is you know you know see you in a couple weeks kind of thing that's always a tough one to deciding whether to go for the kiss on there how do you go for the kiss at the end of the day that's that's really you know what kind of and 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 is it the lip kiss or the cheek kiss or the forehead kiss or you know the the ear nibble. What do you go for? You don't you don't know. I mean, but you just sort of have to sort of play it by ear. Sometimes um, she might make the move, and, and that tips you off. Um, there's nothing worse than going for the lip and she turns the face. Uh, that, that's a, that's a bad one there because you're caught. You're 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 done. You you said well I I, I tried to uh, I tried to throw the long pass. Somebody was offside. I got the flag. Now I got to get moved back. It's third down, I'm gonna have to punt. It should be soft, slow, sensual, not a rush. I think that's the ultimate in terms of, in terms of kissing, actually. I think kissing actually is one of the most intimate forms of, I can't say intercourse actually, but um, expression really that you can do. I mean, I wouldn't, on a first date, kiss a girl on the lips if I really liked her. I mean, I would kiss her on the cheek. You know, I would, but again, I'd get this, the sense that, yes, you and you know what I mean? Like sometimes it's, there's a good chemistry and other times you're fighting the chemistry and you know, you're, you're searching for that common ground but it's just not there. Okay, so there's a lot of tension anyway on a first date. But in 1979, I'll wager it was, I mean, I think we can all think back. It was much more permissive in the 70s. Oh, wow. you're right. Uh, I, I think we did, but it was like a, you know, it, the, the not knowing is always exciting too when you're saying goodnight and wondering whether or not you know you should actually do this or not. Yeah. How long does that pause kind of go on? Is there a lot of staring involved? Well, if you say goodnight and she's gone, you yeah. know that's not you know that's probably not a good. You know you don't want to chase her. You don't want to chase the girl, no. 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 But but. <laughs> yeah. What? Didn't I deserve a kissy? <laughs> yeah, that kind of just that kills it right there. <laughs> <for me. laughs> Okay, so okay, so what about you? Did you you've been this is you've been through this really recently? Uh, very recently. Yeah. And uh, no, we did not. You did not. No, 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 no. I'm finding patience is a virtue. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. uh, generally speaking, I think there's a game of sexual chess that was played eons and eons ago, and women won. Oh yeah. And guys are just quick to jump, quick to jump, and it's girls defending parry and all that sort yeah. of stuff. So we haven't but, kissed her yet. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have not. Uh, no, what I found actually though is. Uh, it, it, there's no rush. I mean, yeah. she's there as long as we're together, and it's one of those things where I found that by waiting, it's mm -hmm. just been a lot cooler. There's a lot more excitement built about it, and yeah. it's it's uh, it's pretty cool when, as a guy, you're always the one sort of rushing and trying to push stuff. Yeah. So when, it, when if you push have a moment where, particular? well, okay, things, just you know, <laughs> things the, the, the oh, body it's stuff. a winking thing. But if uh, the coolest thing that I found is when uh, when uh, my girlfriend has sort of been the one initiating, sort of wanting to take it the next step. Uh -huh. That's the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. And I think that comes from realizing that, you know, she's there and she's not going anywhere. And when you have that sense of yeah. trust and that sense of faith, it's just so cool to yeah. sit back and relax. You guys are patient and, like that too, right? 
That's when you pull back, right? Say, no, yeah. I'm not ready. No. no. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. You've said that? I have said that. You have said that. I said that. We have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, but you know what? Sometimes what? you're not. Like, I wouldn't, on a first date, I would really, I mean, let, let, you know, let's say, you know, I've been dating for 16, 17 years. Okay. So maybe when I was 18 or 19, yeah, I would, you know, maybe want to get that kiss happening. But now, I want to be able to say, good night, uh, thanks for everything, and call. Drive her mad. You know, but no, I'm not necessarily do that. Though. But it's you've got to step back and evaluate the situation. And I think, okay, was she cool tonight? Is she going to be crazy in a couple of weeks? Do I want to get involved with it that quickly? So, oh, okay. So you know, it's a self-protective thing. Uh, it's absolutely a self-protective oh, okay. thing. Yeah. Okay. I've been burned on it in the past. Yeah. I've rushed into relationships where, you know, you sleep together way too soon in the relationship, and then, we you know, it comes down, uh, you'll just get, you can get burned on it very easily. So yeah. if you're a bit more cautious, you, you know, it's not a race, it's not a sprint, it's a, it's a marathon. You're in okay, it for a so while. you kind of agree with the last guy, the slow, that the, slow... I think the last guy was sort of trying to be a bit okay. too cheesy. It's just, you know, be... Oh, that was a cheesy be thing, Be comfortable, relax with Jeez, the person. I'm building a lot of awareness now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you know that 97% of women like being kissed on the neck, though? Mm -hmm. I did know that. You did know that? You both knew that? Yeah. Did you not know that? Well, I mean, baby, error. get home right I, after this. Okay. I didn't know the actual <laughs> statistic, but, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. I well, know it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after all that, uh, that talk uh, about kissing, I need to watch some commercials and cool down a bit. So we'll be back in a minute <laughs> with an audience member who has a question she wants to ask the guys. Paul and Jonathan just doesn't scan, does it? Real guys answering questions about relationships from women who can't figure out what guys are up to. Uh, we're going to have a question from Lori in our audience now. Hi. Go ahead. Hi. Okay, hi. Um, on a first date, how do you know when you're not interested in the girl and how do you let her know? And do you do it then and there? No. No, no, no. you got to no. be diplomatic. Is this one of those I'll call you things? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, well, you, I'm going to say I'll call you and be like, well, that was nice. Uh, enjoy. The rest enjoy? Of the yeah. You did the <laughs> way <weird thing? laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, enjoy the what? Night. Here, enjoy what? You mean it's not going to, we're never going to go The rest of your life. What, what is there to enjoy? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, I tend to get very enjoy. distant and aloof. <laughs> What's that? I tend to get distant and aloof at that point. Like at the point, right, right at the end of the date. <laughs> yeah, so very like, evasive when it comes even, to uh, future yeah. plans. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's sure. important, yeah. is it? Yeah. Don't don't Pete, talk did about. Did it ever even do. happen to you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I took anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. No, I just mean, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know what? I, I, it just I, I, hands are a real. Uh, First, on first impressions, but this show's about first impressions. Hands are a real turn on for me. You know, a, a woman's hands mean a lot to me. For some reason, when I look at a woman's hands, they, they, they tell me a lot about a woman. Yeah. And when I see them, there was a woman that I dated in high school, and she had the ugliest thumbs. She had great big thumbs, and it was such a turn off. And our first date, I noticed the thumbs. Oh. Uh, yeah. So I didn't know what to do about that. Didn't I? That, that kind of killed it. Great at hitchhiking. Great, though. That's true. And you gotta wonder, you know. So she can there are other, are there other like little physical things that you guys have like special attention for? Oh, bad teeth. Ugh. Yeah. That the whole British bad teeth thing. The British bad teeth thing. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've. So been what's your girls? genetic heritage then? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, no, that's one of those things where if you, s I just bad teeth to yeah. me, and yeah, that's just nasty. Huh? Just. Ugh. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of orthodontists with uh, additional clients now oh, that you, you said me. that. Yeah. But, uh, no, that, but that's one of those things where you can sort of screen that beforehand. Yeah. You just, if I see the bad teeth, I don't get myself into that first oh, date for situation. for heaven's sake, is that important? Okay, anything for you? Um, anything for me, it would be a turn off. I think somebody who maybe just talk about themselves so much and don't want to sort of interact. Yeah. And yeah. that happens. Oh, that happens? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I did this and I did that. So and then the last, oh, the best one is, well, the last guy I dated, 
Oh. He would. Oh. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. See, I don't mind that because then no. you can you don't talk mind about. That? No, because then that gives you open license to talk about the last girl you dated. But who oh, wants to talk no, about that's that? not going anywhere. That's not, a, that's not a her business. But but the thing is, okay. if you're gonna have a relationship with a person, mm -hmm. you, everybody has a history, and I'm. I mean, we're pretty, like, with my girlfriend now, we're pretty accepting. Mm -hmm. I have a history, she has a history, and there's just points where it's relevant. You learn from your mistakes, so if you talk about mistakes okay. you've had in the past, it can sort of help you out. Okay. You know what? You, you just know everything tonight. You're in one of those oh, zoned on moods. Oh, You're on fire. Yeah. Okay. I got something for you then. Oh, dear. Okay. It's not a present, but it's, it's a piece of art. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to start us off. What's going on in this picture? What? What's Especially that guy wearing on his guy. feet? Okay, you go past the footwear thing. <laughs> it's not good with the footwear. <laughs> Come on, you guys. That Work it here. You've been, um, to, you've been to the art galleries. What's going on in the emotional setting of this picture? Uh, what are you, um, he's, it'd, be, it'd be like a wooing or something. Right? It's oh, a I think wooing. they're I think they're breaking up. <laughs> is that a '70s word? Well, no, it looks <laughs> like <laughs> an 18th century word. Wooing is relevant. It's a I wooing thing. I think wooing? they're breaking up. They're breaking up. Look at her. She's she's sad, yeah. and he's done something wrong, uh -huh. and she's pretty upset about it. I know. It. It's okay. the first time that she had seen him in nylons. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a little taken aback. I know. But, and what about you? Anything? I think that he's uh, trying to ask her what her most intimate feelings are for him. Really? And she's very. Well, I'm, uh, really? Yeah, no, really, that's what you think so? Um, well, maybe not painted back in the 1870s or whenever it was done, but, you know, she's... No, I, I think that he's... Uh, <laughs> help me out here. I don't know. To me, he looks a little bored. Uh, she, she's, well, he's looking at her, he's though, looking isn't he? He's looking, he's right looking at her. her. He's frustrated. He screwed he's frustrated. up. He, he slept with her mad. best friend, and <laughs> he got caught on it, so he's trying to get himself mad. out of it, and she's like, no, okay. and she's looking down. Okay, so how many of you put your hand up are saying the guy did something wrong? Just you, man. Yeah. You're on your own you here. It might it's be a window a, into my soul. <laughs> you've you got a guilty conscience. Okay, no. so apart from this, this sort of scandalous footwear problem, <laughs> okay, well, I just wanted to know, you know what I'm thinking? He's asking, how many months? <laughs> oh. okay. okay, you oh, have to wonder, good. don't you? You know, art's a rich, a rich subtext, isn't it? Oh, I mean, think of what you've just, you could actually g be a docent at the art museum. <laughs> you know? You could do this. I'd really like to thank you guys for being here tonight. This is a great panel. We've got Paul Schmidt, Jonathan McCready, and Peter Callahan. If you have a question for men, email us or give us a call, and we'll try to include it in the show. I'm Mag Ruffman. Thanks for watching Men on Women.